In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a shop template just like the one on my live site, mindfulimprint.com. This is the uh, template that you can have that I made available, and um, I'll show you how to install it in this tutorial. It uses elementorpro.com, and if you need that, uh, there's a link in the description. The reason it uses Elementor Pro is that Pro is the only one that you can use shop templates with. So, all right, so to get started, I'll go over the steps real quick. We create a page in Astra, download the template, install the template, adjust the box, and then adjust the customizer. So the first thing I'll do is make a page. Pages, add new. And we have shop two. Over here on the side, we have the settings. I'll just select no sidebar, full width contained, disable title, disable breadcrumb, and you can disable featured image too. Okay, I'll publish that. So I created the page, it's a blank page. Now I'm going to go to the template. Uh, you have to download it from my uh, tutorial site, step-by-stepwp.com. Here it is right here. Go to templates. Go to the WooCommerce shop template. You see right here, you get all of these pages. You have to go to uh, Google Drive. So how do I download this? Download it. Okay, now I'm going to unzip the shop template over here on my desktop. And you'll see right here, all products shop template. That's the one I want. All right, so now that it's on my desktop, I will go back to my site and now I'm going to go to install the template. So go to your Elementor Pro templates right here. I guess um, saved templates, import template, choose file, desktop, all products import now okay so it must be this one here now that I have brought it into my template folder I can go back to my page so pages where is it Shop 2, edit, and now we're going to edit with Elementor, and now we are going to go to our templates with this folder here, and my templates, and we want this shop template here, insert. Okay, so a couple things about this template. You'll see that I used a product widget here and I didn't use the available um, uh, archive widget. I just use a general product widget because I was having trouble getting the columns to work. So I, I use a two column setting here for the product widget and I did about 10 rows and then it'll go to the next page if you have more, it'll have an arrow for the next page if you have more than 20 products. You can adjust the query here to how you want them ordered and you can adjust the title here. 
So I, you'll notice on my site, I didn't really like all of this extra stuff because I want them to just click on the product and to get more information. So I went with just the title and I'll show you how to set that up in the uh, Astra theme. So anyway, to adjust these boxes, you would go to um, style and then all of these settings here are where you can adjust the boxes title color you can adjust the font you can adjust um, the price and all of that but like I said I got rid of that stuff uh, in the theme and I'll do that in a sec but right here box this is where you do the background color this is also where you do a border or a shadow. You can also make the box have a, like a border width. Not sure why the border radius didn't adjust there. Oh, there it is. All right, so this is where, like I said, you can do all the box editing. And then once you get that taken care of, I'm going to, right here, it'll, I'm going to update it. And you'll see that I was not able to designate it as the shop template. So I'll have to do that a few extra times just for some redundancy. So what I'll do is I'll exit. First thing I'll show you is how to set it in the theme. So I'll go to uh, WooCommerce, Settings, Products, and then we have the Shop page. Set it to Shop 2, Save Changes, and then you also have to do it here in the Elementor uh, theme builder. We have a shop template. Instances none right now. And so you want to change that. You want to tell it to make it the shop. Um, so we'll go to It did not give me an arrow to here we go right here display conditions now it's working I was looking for that earlier and it wasn't there so now it now it's there so I'll go display conditions all product archive that's the shop page wait this, we just want shop page because this would also change all of my category pages to the same template so I just want the shop page for this I have separate ones for categories where you would select these so just my shop page save and close and now I have one more set of settings I want to adjust under appearance customize and this is where under Astra, you can adjust what appears in your shop. So under WooCommerce, product catalog, right here, you'll see I blanked out the price, the ratings, the short description, the add to cart, the category. I got rid of all of that, so it's just the title. And then you can adjust the shop columns here, but I would probably make them match what you have in the Elementor settings, just so there's redundancy there. So if it was two in the Elementor settings, I would set this one to two as well. So there's no conflict. And then I would click this here and I would go to the uh, the mobile 
and then I would set that to one because um, Astra should redundant be redundant with the Elementor setting. So this columns one should match your Elementor columns. And that's it. Go ahead and publish that. Let's see what the shop looks like now. Visit store. And it looks very similar to what we had before because this is the, the same template that I'm using for my shop. Oh, and there's, a, there's also a, a category option at the bottom of the page included in the template. So there's that little widget as well. And that's it for this video. I just have one closing layer here. Uh, there's a bunch of helpful resources in the description and uh, all that stuff. And if you ask a question, I might make some videos. And thanks for watching.